Tina for the fuck? <laughs> Hi, I'm M, and I'm Luke, and we're your Mona sidekicks. Today, Hi. you do it. We're reacting to another video on Call Me Chris's channel with Selena Spooky Boo that is called We Did a Seance in the Most Haunted City in America, wow. Part One. Part One. Yeah. <laughs> So, every time people say part one, it makes me want to be like, PARKOUR! PARKOUR! I don't know. Well, there's a part two. Probably on Selena's channel. If you guys are interested in the rest of our reaction videos, there'll be a playlist somewhere that you can click upon and watch the rest of them. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, I'm assuming it said Salem in the thing, so the ha most haunted city in America is Salem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Salem was on the, the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, so I don't know. I think it's weird. Huh. People have been asking us to re react to some of their videos or more of their videos because we only did one. Because we think Selena's a trans medium, so. Well, she's a trans medium. There's no <laughs> way. But, um, I, do you see a man? Does he have a pointy hat? No. No one. <laughs> You seen a witch? I'm sorry. No, I, just because someone wears a pointy head doesn't mean they're a witch. Maybe we're they're just high about, fashion. We're talking about witch city. That's true. Um, I don't know. I see a dude. He has uh, brown hair. It's curly. It's he has a lot of facial hair, like a beard. Um, he's scary. No, oh, well that's not fun. I don't know. I don't know if they talk to him. I don't know if he has anything to do with the witch trials. Does he jingle when he walks? No. Okay. I don't know. We sat down. I, I'm, I'm like not on my game today, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I'm trying to like focus. my mental capacity towards the video. Yeah, I don't know, I see a scary dude, so... facial hair that... potentially, like, tortured people. That's fun. So, I don't know. Oh, maybe they go to the witch museum. That would make sense. Um, I don't know, someone said they don't need to. Oh, that's unfortunate. But well, <laughs> one of the reasons I wanted to react to this video is because Em and I have been to Salem. We went there for my bachelorette party and I will like put a link somewhere to that video if you guys want to watch it. It was kind of yeah, fun. It was a vlog. But that's why I wanted to react to it because I was like, oh, we've been there. Maybe it'll be different because I don't, being in Salem was crazy. We stayed at the Hawthorne Hotel and just. Which is haunted. <laughs> but everything just plays like one of like the things from Harry Potter where every, like where the ghosts exist in the castle. That's what it looks like mm -hmm. at uh, Salem, but not like Victorian era. You, you can know, see whatever's. ghosts walking around like it's normal. Yeah, is what Lib is trying to say, <laughs> like in Harry Potter. <laughs> so I was hoping when we reacted to this, it would just be like fun and reminiscent of that. But I guess we'll see. We'll find out. Well, what do you see? I'm so not on my the pointy hat. Well, I don't know because. It... You're not seeing it too, so I have confidence issues. Like, the dude you're seeing is very different from the dude I'm seeing. The dude that I'm seeing is, like, tall. He has very broad shoulders. He has, like, more of, like, a pointy-esque hat. But as I say that, he shakes his head no, so maybe he's just making me feel better about myself. Like, making himself look nicer to me, but, or funny. I mean, is he wearing a witch hat because he's trying to tell you things about witches? Probably. Because when you say that, he goes like this, which is my symbol for yes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like you get a lot of signs and symbols, but you, like, don't, don't trust that you have signs and symbols. Well, my dumbass brain also just goes, take it literally. <laughs> yeah, but they're your signs and symbols. It's really dumb. <laughs> so, spirit's trying their best. So, literally, I would presume if someone's wearing a pointy hat in Salem, it would be a witch. But again, I my brain goes, nah, maybe they're just trying to be like avant-garde. <laughs> I mean, is he the dude that got pressed? Is, if he's a dude and a witch, or is he a dude that 
dealt with witches, because there's only one dude that, like, was claimed to be a witch. Yeah. I know you're talking about uh, Giles, Corey. I feel like he's not them. No, I don't think so, because I, every time I try to, when we went to Salem, I feel like I, when we learned about Giles, Corey, I was, like, he was showing me the stuff that was going on, or I was picking up on the energy of it. Mm -hmm. And his energy is very different from this dude. This dude is, like, someone that would, like, show you around the place is and explain a, things to you. Is he a, an actual person? Yes. Okay. Because that's what he says. Okay. I don't know. He's kind of, like, mm -hmm. buff a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if he doesn't feel like a person, but... No? Maybe I'm seeing someone else. Yeah. So, I don't know. Possibly. He seems like a person to me. He has, like, a very light-hearted feeling to him. Mm. Right? Or using someone else. Mm. No, he's not, like, giggly or happy or, like, light-hearted. do not see him at all, then. Okay. I don't know who you're seeing. Yeah. He, like, <laughs> smells like a person from the 1800s. Does that make sense? How rude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's just get into it and hope for the best. <laughs> okay. I'm excited just to watch Call Me Chris and Selena because they're all so funny. We are alive, we are awake, it is morning. We are headed towards our final destination. Salem, Massachusetts. I know, I don't say it right. Say it, <laughs> say it. Salem, Massachusetts. Salem, Massachusetts. Nope. I just, I'm already stopping it because I need to say that my grandfather, rest in peace, couldn't say Mitsubishi. So he would say, was that my phone? It wasn't mine. Well, goddamn. My grandfather, rest his soul, couldn't say Mitsubishi. He would say Mitsy Bitsy. So the fact that you can't say Massachusetts. Well, do you think she's actually suing that, or do you think it's a bit? Either like, way, you never until, know with her. I mean, if it is a bit, I'm still gonna make fun of you and say it's because you're from. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I had a friend growing up too. If he ever watches this, his name's Ben. What's up, Ben? Maybe I'll I'll link you to this because you'd watch this. Uh, he can't say salt and vinegar chips. He would say salt and vinegar chips. Massachusetts. She's also from Canada. This video is gonna get flagged. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. No, that was a bit. <laughs> Sorry, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah, not Massachusetts. Not, not Massachusetts. 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 Massa. Massa. Chu. Chu. Sits. Sits. Massachusetts. 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 Yeah. No. We'll get there though. By the time we get there, we got a six hour drive ahead of us. By the time we get there, the whole time just Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Yeah. No. no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She went down hard. <gasps> she just rolled her ankle. I think it's okay. It's not as bad as the summer before. Did it. So, three years in a row, I broke my ankle. Oh, but it's usually I this one. My ankle. So, I'm really good. It's not the bad ankle. I'm just gonna get the dead. I don't think the dead are <laughs> on us here. <laughs> we're here at a random cemetery in Pennsylvania yep. because we're gonna like ghosts choose our tattoos. Yep. Get their tattoos and by really cool people. Which is what I wanted to do with you, but you're, you're afraid of tattoos. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I'm afraid of needles. And I also have commitment problems. I'm really sad because you know how I have the industrial here? Do you not have it anymore? Four months ago, I took it out because it was bothering my ear because I had like, I don't know, too much TMI, like a zit happening on the side of my ear. And I was like, I can't deal with this. I'm like literally seven months pregnant and my ear hurts. I can't. Close to. Yes. I tried oh. to put it in the other day because I'm like, I'm a cool mommy. I'm going to have an industrial again. It's fine. I'm so annoyed. The dude that did it literally had his eyeballs tattooed blue. I'm never going to be able to take that experience back. Do it again. But it's not gonna be the same. I'm gonna have to do it with the same dude. It, they don't do it anymore. Cause they have too many. We can go to Salem and we can get a tattoo and an industrial. Cause yeah. you say that you're afraid of needles, but you literally had a thick needle go through your ear. I was going through some stuff, so I did that instead. Yeah, cause I was like, we should get twin flame tattoos. <laughs> and she was like, I'm scared. I was like, we should do it at Salem, cause that'd be really cool. I, I'm scared. Yeah. Your your friends would have gotten a tattoo with me. <laughs> Every single one of my friends has a tattoo except for me. I don't. I well yet. yeah. 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 <laughs> we have to shop the twin flame tattoos. Maybe we could do a live about it. You'll never get a tattoo. I need an idea. We've had we've had a couple ideas, but not 
not like anything set Ooh, in stone. If you guys had, if you guys could design our twin flame tattoos, yeah. that would be sick. And tag us on Instagram when you post it. That would be fun. We'll put it on. Because then stories. maybe I can convince Liv to get a tattoo. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> we'll try. We'll see. It has to be cool enough. You just want something thin because you're scared. I am scared. Do you look? Do you see this? I glow in the dark. I'm yeah. so scared about Put getting some a black tattoo. black ink, everything will be fine. No, but what if my skin bubbles up and rejects it? Do you, did you know that's a thing? Yes. I'm scared. You're fine. I'm scared. You literally had a, a fucking rod go through your ear. But a dude with tattooed blue eyeballs told me that I needed to do it a certain way because I was like, I came in there like a fucking disco girl. And I was like, I need it like this. And he's like, listen, you have glasses on your face. Do you know how bad that's going to rub against the little thingy doodle on the back of your ear? He's like, listen, listen to me. You need to have it this way at this angle. Otherwise, you're going to hate it and you're never going to want it again. And he was right. I had it when I was 18. Got it when I was 18. And then didn't take it out until like literally six months ago. And now I'm just screwed. But the dude with the blue tattooed eyeballs knew what he was doing. And now I don't trust anybody else. Well, now we're going to go to Salem and get a tattoo. Okay. Make a decision for us that's yeah. permanent in our lives. Yep. And um, they, haven't, they, they had a little fun. They knocked Selena over. I stepped right in a, in a grave hole. Why is this hole here? Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there's been lots of holes dug in. Yeah. But I don't think anyone's right. At least I didn't fall on a dead person. That would make me feel bad. Really bad. Yeah, I trip on a grave. Or into a tombstone, hit my head Maybe and die. Maybe it was a sign. Maybe we should like talk to this person. John. John Hi. C. Jr. Grassley. Like John C. Riley. My dad's name's John, too. We're here in a respectful manner. John Joseph Jingleheimer Schmidt. Yeah, I could hear you thinking about that. <laughs> I'm so glad. Manner, we thought you guys might want to help us choose a tattoo. Guys, I'm really thankful. It doesn't feel too f***ed up. Like, I can walk on it, which okay. before I couldn't. Alice. Dun, 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 okay, bud. Dun. Jay's going first. He's got uh, three words, and he's got to choose between those three words what the tattoo is going to be. So, like, also, just, like, ask the ghost. Just be like, hey. This is kind of what I want, or you can just freeball it. Tell them the kind of stuff you're Hey, you're Alice, into. Well, a lot of my friends are in a grave. What kind of tattoo should I get? Oh! Ask your friends. Maybe your friends will come through. In Pennsylvania. I mean, we're somewhat close home. Don't matter. What kind of, what, oh. South. Whoa. South. South. See, you can interpret it anyway. Yeah, you, you can so interpret. Cool. You can interpret. <laughs> oh. Foe South. What? Foe. 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 I guess like an, as an enemy. Foe. No, no, oh. as an enemy. <laughs> Not hey. a noodle bowl. <laughs> enemy. Okay, right. my turn. First though, talk to these spirits. I don't know what you're looking for. <sighs> okay, I'm here and I'm queer. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. No, I know you guys have been hanging around here for probably a while and you have nothing else to do and I would really like you to help me figure out something important to put on my body. Do you see the little old woman standing behind her? She's to the right. Mm -hmm. She's really cute. She's like this big. She's got gray hair, like the perfect old little grainy girl, like granny gray curly hair. And she was like, I don't know, that tall. She's like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. She's just really funny. She's seeing like what's going on. Oh, well, she telling Chris what to put on her body? She says she's making it better. <laughs> what that means? Well, I feel like there's an, another guy, too. He's, like, off camera because I'm asking the woman instead. And she says that there was a man that was going to try and get something, like, different to put on as a tattoo. And she was, like, finagling it so it wasn't going to be as bad. Because <laughs> she's like, I can only tell them so much, but I'm going to try to help the best that I can. God. <laughs> That's really funny. She's adorable. She's, like, I feel like she died in, like, this... 70s or 80s because she's got those big glasses like from the 70s like mm -hmm. aviator style frames and uh she's wearing a white like house dress with like pink little tiny like flower patterns on it she's adorable <laughs> not important and just to commemorate this wonderful road trip memory and to commemorate yourselves maybe i love you guys i really do <gasps> dean dean Maybe Dean's coming through. Okay, Dean, choose right. my tattoo. The dude. <laughs> Look how he didn't announce himself. He's younger. He's like maybe in his 30s. Mm-hmm. Forget all names. Wasn't Dean? Yeah. 
Oh, maybe that's oh, who's following us. Yeah, that's, yeah. Maybe that's who's been following us. Oh. Okay, Dean, don't screw me over now. That's actually really scary. <laughs> Whoa, that's actually really weird. <laughs> this thing doesn't say names. Ooh, Mist. Mist. Great movie. That'd be a weird tattoo, a though. Yeah, you, can't really like, get you got fog you got on your arm? Oh, oh. so many. <gasps> Start. Start. Which is interesting. I could interpret that in a lot of ways. Table. The start of something. <laughs> so start. Okay. Maybe like the start of something new, like a new beginning. Yeah. That's kind of how I interpret it. Maybe I can think of like a symbol that. Like, yeah, something. We'll figure it out. Yeah, though. Circle. Circle. That's kind of cool though. Circle of life. So many different like circle okay, things. Okay, I have two exactly. things to work with, circle and start. I'm okay. good with that. All right. Oh. All right. Crystal ball on a table with Black mist ball. around it. <laughs> I think she was trying to get her to say star. Like stars, not start. Because I don't see start. I'm still talking to the old lady. She's like, it's really hard to move those things. <laughs> she says it's like um, trying to push letters on a keyboard but without your hands. Where's the- hang on, give me one second. Okay. I was looking to see where the S was on the keyboard. You guys ever been typing and you try to type something and then you type the letter next to it and then it changes the word? The oh. S and the T are kind of far away. So I was like, I don't know, maybe they're close together. Anyways. Holy guacamole. Taylor is the one who least wants to do this. Yes, I want to get it in this spot. That's my collection piece right there. Whoa! Oh, no, like the- <laughs> Calm. 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 The I like that. You. Yeah. I love that. Mm. Messenger. Ooh, messenger. Messenger. Okay. Calm. Piece of mail on your ass. Okay. You've got mail on your ass. <laughs> See it delivered. Porch. Porch. You love porches. I, yeah. I just got to wrap around porch. Wrap around porch. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. Okay. I can work with that. Awesome. Yeah, porch good. messenger. Calm. All right. Spirits, I come here with love and respect, but I did fall in one of your holes and possibly, definitely rolled, possibly broken my ankle because that thing hurts. I'm gonna tell you right now, I love Halloween, I love Christmas, I love pumpkins, I love witches, I love numbers. Look at me, you got, see, I got some going on, okay? I don't want any more flowers, right? So I'm looking to you, please love me. Let's figure out what I'm getting. Did you see a guy roll up? Mm-hmm. He's like, he's like a motorcycle dude. He's more heavy set. He's got like a big gray beard and he's wearing one of like those motorcycle hats, like the little like bandana thingies. Wait. He's like over to the left when she picked up the mirror. <coughs> and he's like, I got you. <laughs> Cem cemeteries are fun. Brad and I go to the cemeteries and I always have a good time. And you see people standing there that aren't there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's like one really old part of the cemetery where the people that died died like Hundreds like, of years ago. The Vanderbilts were cool. <laughs> Don't know what that is. Oh, it's like turn of the century stuff. Um, and I always see like the big black, like instead of hearses, but like horse and carriage hearses. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Didn't know that was a thing, so. Yeah, I mean, they gotta carry the body somehow, but they're these. I thought they just buried them in their backyard. No, they're these big black carriages that are like glossy black with like silver accents and then there's always like a horse or two that are pulling it and I'm just walking through the cemetery with my husband and he's like, look, there's an acorn on the ground. I'm like, that's cool. Watching this giant carriage go by that isn't actually there. It's a good, it's a good time. <laughs> I'd love the Mothman. Say Moth. <gasps> Weapon. I would get a Mothman tattoo maybe. I love I'm Mothman. I'm not getting a Mothman tattoo with you. Well, we don't have to get it together. I'm just saying I love Mothman. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyways. Weapon. Whoa! I can get my no! knife! I can get I, the knife! I was gonna say I love knives. I want a knife. Damn okay. it. That's okay, awesome. we got weapon. That's dope. I always wanted to do, like, the dagger. Yeah, oh, dagger's dope. shit. Okay. We got weapon. Yeah. Oracle. I, we're doing Whoa! good! Why are you getting such Thank you! One? Thank you! I told him what I wanted. What is it? Bitches? Produce. Oh, get okay. oh, an apple. I thought it said bitches. Apple boy. Apple boy. <laughs> okay, produce. A pumpkin. I literally got, oh, got pumpkin. a pumpkin, oracle, and weapon. What? Thank you. Can we just not choose hers? Yeah. Let's get bogus. That's sick. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's get tattoos, mate. Why cool. did Selena end up in a wheelchair? That's, that sounds like the f***ing title of the video. That sounds like the title of a porno. Hey guys, we are here in Salem, Massachusetts at the Black Veil. And we're going to get...
get tattoos by, introduce yourselves. I'm Matt Murray, I'm Ryan Murray. And they run this most magical place that I've ever been and I wanna live here forever and never leave. Yeah, it's it, it's 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 immaculate, it's yeah. beautiful. So the tattoos though, what's the theme? Oh right, I guess we gotta explain that. Oh yeah, the spirits chose our tattoos. We let ghosts choose our tattoos. It's fall here in Canada and I'm gonna tell you what I got for my tattoo. Tattoo reveal time. Done, done, done. Do you see that? It's a dagger. Because the ghost really came came for me. Came out for me. Did the thing for me. Helped me out. Because I fell. Because they tripped me into a hole. <laughs> I chose a dagger because weapon was one of the things that I could choose from. Not only did I choose it because I love daggers. I love witchy stuff. Um, also, my brother is a huge, huge like dagger and sword collector. And I have so many different tattoos for different people in my life. But I didn't have one for my little brother yet. So, I got this. And, and I love it. Also, look. October! So many. What's up? I got a new tattoo. It's pretty cool. Um, check it out. <laughs> I got an Ouroboros, which is essentially a snake eating its own tail. I didn't really want a deep throat in its own tail because I didn't love the look of that. So he made it look really pretty and nice. But essentially, it's it's one of the oldest symbols in time. And since I got the words start and circle, I looked up symbols that kind of... Can we just talk about the fact that she is a full-size cutout of Happy Trees. I can't think of his name now. Painting Happy Trees. You know what I'm talking about? He's right there. Yeah. What's his name? Well, I can't think of it because you can't think of it. <laughs> Happy Trees. Hang on. Bradley! Yeah. Who's the guy that paints Happy Trees? Who's the guy that paints happy trees? Uh, that would be, uh, um, what's his face? Bob Ross? Bob Ross! We got it. Bob Ross. And a picture of, uh, Robin Williams as the dude, or, I think that's his stand-up get-up. Robin Williams, when he was, like, really young doing stand-up? Sorry, I'm just, like, Creeping on your room, it's fine. I appreciate the aesthetic. Symbols that kind of symbolize rebirth and the new start to things and an Ouroboros came up and I absolutely love snakes as well. I've always wanted a snake tattoo, so it kind of just made sense. It made sense for me too because I've gone through a lot of self-destructive years in I, the past 10 years, I'd say, and I'm kind of coming into like this new wave and going on this trip with uh, Selena, Jay, and Taylor. It just kind of signifies that, so I'm glad I got something to remember that by and to know that I, I've been on the right path. And um, Matt did such an amazing job. I love it so much. The details are still so amazing. I think we're two months out from getting the tattoos, so I love it so much. That looks awesome. Yeah, I know. That's good, yeah. Like, I know, I know. You're probably thinking, Taylor, how did you put calm messenger and porch together to create a cat on a broomstick? Originally when I was- Wait, let's guess it. You use a broom to sweep a porch. Cats can be a messenger because they are a familiar. And I don't know why it's calm. Maybe he likes to go for broom rides Guess in me. the night time. I have no idea. <laughs> I had an intuition games. Well, I mean, it's not... Well, we are really bad at intuition games. It is an intuition game. This is more like, look at the ink blot and guess the meaning behind it. Or like, what does this ink blot look to you? But it's his tattoo. Intuition. <laughs> Piecing the three words together, I was thinking I could do a wave or something tranquil, an infinity sign. But when the word calm came up, I immediately thought of a cat. Cats are calm, cats are lazy, cats do their own thing. But then where does whore- I don't think, think he's- a cat is calm. I don't think he's ever owned a cat in his life. Bradley literally showed me a video of cats losing their shit today and I feel like that's the only videos you ever see of cats on the internet. Yep. There's just a plethora of them. stimulated so easily. I had to clean out this room before we filmed today, and my cat was losing her absolute crap. She attacked the floor. Yeah, she got like happy toes. She was yeah, 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 with her feet on the floor because I change things because she loves chaos, not calmness. Yeah, that's an interesting interpretation. <laughs> 
porch and messenger come up. And then I thought, okay, cat, Halloween, and porch, I'd let that one go a little bit. <laughs> um, but hey, I might be sitting on my porch and my little black cat might fly up to me on a broomstick. I know it's a very far-fetched tattoo, but I think it came together really well and both Matt and Ryan did an amazing job. I couldn't be happier with how it came out. It is my favorite piece of work on me and it will definitely go down as one of my favorite memories with some amazing people. Mine was faux that I went with. So I got the semicolon tattoo. The semicolon tattoo represents people with anxiety, depression, battling mental illness, all that fun stuff. I've been there, done that. When I was 17 years old, I lost my dad. Literally, I think it, <laughs> I think it's every other year I lost a close friend. So I lost a total of like eight friends and life is just so the obstacle course and insane roller coaster that is life is like, it's definitely an enemy. And everything that I've been through in my life, the ups and downs, having this tattoo on me where I can visibly see it every single day, I'm just reminded of that and just gotta, just gotta battle through it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the finale of our Highway to Hell series. I'm Call Me Chris. And I'm Selena Spooky Boo. And tonight we are at the Haunted Hawthorne Hotel in Salem. No, they stay at the same hotel. You think oh, they yeah, stayed on the sixth floor? I'm gonna guess oh, fifth floor, but the sixth floor is the one that's haunted. Yeah. Did we even talk about in our video what the sixth floor was like? Yeah. Did we? Pretty sure. Let's talk about it again. Okay. <laughs> okay, so when we went for my bachelor party, we stayed at the Hawthorne Hotel. Highly recommend. Not. That's very pretty. And I was nervous because I'd only heard things well, about the Hawthorne Hotel being haunted. It was haunted. between this one and the bread and breakfast place, which was haunted by like a horrible people. man. Oh well, yeah, people that were tortured by some horrible man. Yeah, mm -hmm. this one's different. It's just a hotel. Well, yeah, but I, I like as a, the scaredy cat of I'm, scaredy cat. I'm just saying, lucked out. No, I got. I could have done the other place. And if we did, that'd be horrifying because it was exactly. scary. No, it was. It was. When we were on the ghost tour? tour? No, 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 the oh. other place. Because oh, yeah. we, we saw the outside of the other place on a ghost tour that we went to. And I was like, damn, I'm glad we didn't stay there. And I was like, we could have. And I was like, no, I'm glad yeah. we didn't. It was an option. It was between that and the Hawthorne. The Hawthorne is a fabulous place. I would stay there regardless of its haunted status. But the sixth floor is for sure swanky haunted. So when we yeah. got there, we had so many people. There was seven, six people in my bridal party. Something like that. <laughs> not enough to fit in one room, so we had to split the rooms. And I was like, I am not going on the sixth floor. So we sent all of the all of my friends that mm, were that, not me, so that were comfortable being on that floor. Well, I mean, no one knew it was haunted. No, I told we just Celeste. Sent people there. I told Celeste. <laughs> Probably after they got the assignment of the room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then Julie stayed up there too, and Julie's the one that was in our album video, and she's very sensitive, and she was like, I just ignored everything. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. But when you go on the sixth floor, everything's like, we stayed on the fifth floor, right? Yeah. And they were on the sixth floor. Mm -hmm. The fifth floor, we had some dude that was in our closet, like, in our closet in our washroom who would just like peek out from the other side and he looked like a bellhop or something and at one point I was editing a podcast while everyone else went out to go do stuff because podcast and the bathroom light was on and it literally turned off and I was like I'm gonna ignore that and I was like no let's not ignore it and I asked and I was like can you turn that back on and it literally turned on Hmm. So later that told me that part. You just said that you asked some lady at the front desk if the lights are on an automatic switch and they said no. Yeah, no, I asked a dude. You're like, you should ask. And I was like, I don't know if I should ask, yeah. but I did. <laughs> the dude looked like he was going to poop his pants. <laughs> hot on in. Hot, 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 hot. But the sixth floor is super quiet. Like the fifth floor, as soon as you get on the energy, like out on the hallway, the energy's fine. It's whatever. The sixth floor, it feels like you're in a library and an evil, scary librarian is going to come over at any point in time and like hit you on the face with a book and be like, no talking. Yeah. Because <laughs> there is a scary woman that haunts that floor. And at one point we were in the room hanging out for a little bit, trying to like get together and figure out what we were going to do. And when we got off the beds of in on the sixth floor literally it felt like gravity was increasing well why was she there 
He never asked me this. I know. <laughs> That's I why I'm talk. asking you now. I don't want to talk to her. She's scary. She's not that scary. She's just a lady. A lady that increases gravity. Well, maybe if you asked her why, she wouldn't do that. Something about her husband. She just shows me her husband and she gives me a lot of anger around her husband. But I don't know what that has to do with anything. Well, does it have to do with the weird stereotype that you have with hotels? No, she's old. Okay. My Don't weird stereotype of like people that get stood up because they're gonna get married and then their groom never shows well, up and they're like, oh no, marriage. Like, oh, it be, like some weird affair thing. Did she have? Did her husband like? Oh, did her husband have some sort of weird affair thing? This is just me asking. Why she's angry at her husband? The only way that I feel like I can interpret it is she was made to feel like she always had to be like pushed down. Interesting. Like someone Why was. Why she at a Hawthorne hotel? She makes me feel like she had to stay there a lot, and he, cause she's showing me like the the square that's right across the street from it. Mhm. Mm and she's showing me that like he used to got he used to be able to go out and do things, but she had to stay in the hotel. Yep. And she never got to do anything outside of it, even though the hotel, like, had lots of things going on. Because you have the ballroom on the first floor and the second floor and all that, like, fancy stuff. She just makes me feel like he held her down a lot. Yeah. So, Was I'm he, like, sure. a businessman or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he's... See him. You see him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? She's talking about him. He's, like, a bigger dude. Mm-hmm. He's, like, well-off mm -hmm. business dude. Mm -hmm. Kind of corrupt. She just makes me feel like she never got to do anything, and she always like he, she was he was she was under like his thumb. Mm -hmm. And so interesting. Okay, let's see what they're gonna do. I'm excited. I like the hotel. It's so pretty. Massachusetts. Let's go find some ghosts. Don't go. <laughs> Take me. Tonight, we're at the Hawthorne Hotel in Salem, Massachusetts. Built as a modern hotel for the business traveler, Hawthorne's doors opened in July 1925. The history of the building continues to be written as it stands as one of the most popular hotels in the area. From bewitched filming scenes here to the 1990s seance of Harry Houdini, the hotel has endured many spooky and magical events. Bridget Bishop was the first woman executed in the 1692 witch trials. It was said she owned an apple orchard. This is where the hotel sits now. Guests have said to see her spirit walking amongst the hotel and the smell of apples drifting through the halls. Faucets are known for turning themselves on, lights turning themselves off, and a woman standing in front of room 612. Furniture moves by Does itself, ghostly voices mm. talking behind you. I don't know, because when they said that there was a woman standing in front of room 612, that's not the room they stayed in, was it? I don't know, dude. I don't remember. Why would I remember such specific information like that? I don't know. Cause you, well, cause you always remember things that I say. You like have like specific a numbers. Literally specific things. You have like a filing cabinet in your brain of like, oh, Olivia said this on this day, and she was wearing this, this, and that, and this is what no. she ate. And I'm just like, how do you remember these things? I, I don't, don't even know topics. Just broad topics. Well, when they say six twelve, I see a, a younger woman with brown hair. That's straight. Standing in front of room six twelve. Is she orchard lady? Mmm, that would make more sense. And she's different than the one that increases gravity. Oh, okay, no, no, yeah, she's different than the one that increases sure. gravity. Okay, because you said is she the orchard apple lady, right? When I was thinking about it, and I immediately was like, she she color cognitively made me remember that you can smell apples on the sixth floor. I don't remember where I heard that, but I think I had a, I heard like did a podcast or like listened to a podcast mm -hmm. about the hotel, which is why I was scared to stay there. But I didn't remember anything that happened in the podcast. I just knew that I didn't want to stay there because it was haunted because I heard it on a haunted podcast. And I think that's that's what was in it because she's like, remember this from the brain so file cabinet? She's the orchard lady. The woman that we were talking to with the businessman husband. Well, that's different. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm talking about the lady you're talking about now. Yes. She's the orchard lady. Yes. Why is she in the hotel? Because that's where her stuff used to be. Yep. Yeah, but she used to have an orchard there. Mm -hmm. Why is she in a hotel? She says, I'm not in the hotel. I'm in the land where my stuff was. Why is she standing in front of room 612? 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because she's technically like flipping through time to get to that point. She's telling me it has to do something about the elevation, like it being higher up. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it makes sense to me too, but I know saying it doesn't make sense. Well, it, it won't make sense to people that don't understand timelines. So, um, the way that they show me timelines is it's like a book. So, when you go through a timeline, you turn the page. Mm -hmm. So, the present time is on the top page. So hers is like inside the book. So she has a higher perspective. Does that make sense? The way you explain it might make sense to other people, but it doesn't make sense to me. Okay, you have a book. She shows me it's okay. like layers. Her, her story's on page two. Mm -hmm. Our story's on page 50. Our page is on top of her page. Bigger perspective. Oh, and that's why she's there. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because the property is on page 50 now. Mm -hmm. So she's just on the present time page. Yeah. Makes sense. I really hope they talk about that and I hope we're right. Because <laughs> she's like pulling that out of the dredgers of my mind. What do you mean? Well, I remember that I listened to a podcast about the they Hawthorne Hotel. Said. They didn't say anything about the sixth floor smelling like apples though. Well, they did. Did, it, did they say the sixth floor smells like apples? They, no, they just said that it was an apple orchard. And no, that they said a... that people smell apples. Guests have said to see her spirit walking amongst the hotel and the smell of <laughs> apples drifting through the halls. When? Like, literally five minutes ago. <laughs> Not even. I thought they just said it was an apple orchard. No, they said it was an apple orchard. People see a woman on the sixth floor in front of 612. People smell apples on the floor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> themselves in first day at one of America's most haunted hotels. Welcome to the investigation of the Hawthorne Hotel. We are starting in the library. Yes, here in the 1990s, a crazy seance happened. They actually tried to contact Harry Houdini, and it was not successful. But a lot of crazy things did happen down here, so I was like, immediately, we got to start here. Because I'm sure if anybody can contact Houdini, it's going to be these magic bitches. That's right. Hey. This magic bitch, too. So Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do some magic. Who <laughs> here? Going along, going along. I can't wait to walk like this into an old woman. Is okay. that you're gonna lean that hard? Yeah. Pooping in your diaper? Yeah. That's right. You have like the perfect posture. You are definitely not leaning like that at all. It's a compliment. <laughs> Actually, I do have really good posture. You have great posture. Thank you. <laughs> I want to be like this level. Hello. It was my grandma. My grandma was like, she would hit us. I was on the like on the in the lobby in the lobby and I pressed the basement which is going down and it took me all of a sudden the fourth and fifth floor lit up took me up there to both of them no one's there <laughs> literally no one so now we're in the basement it's because the you weren't supposed to go to the basement they're like you're not supposed to be down there yeah the bell hop yeah <laughs> mm-hmm you know, I get the same thing. Okay, good. They're like, excuse so me. Guests don't go to the basement. I'll take you to your floor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spooky, weird, creepy, don't like it. Thank you. Okay, we are all set up for this investigation. We have REM pods on either side of the room. We have cat balls surrounding the room. One on my left, one on Selena's right. And we also have the music box set up. And we have the Alice box. Why not just go hard and heavy, babes? And let's give her, dude. So if there's any spirits in this room, feel free to touch. What was that? What was that? There's a woman with them. She's kind of staunch. <laughs> touch what's in this room. Feel free to touch. Feel free to touch. What was that? Okay. Hello? If there are any spirits in this room, you can feel free to make noise in the room. You can feel free to use our technology. Um. There's an old man who's very worried about the carpets getting dirty. <laughs> Interesting. I know that sounds funny. He just like walked by really quick and just made me know that 
I don't know, you guys got muddy shoes or something? Was it raining? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's a lady with them that's like from Is the she Victorian like over here? era. Yeah. Okay. And she's kind of like disapproving. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, you shouldn't be doing that in here. Does she have like a like a glass in her hand like she's drinking something? Mm-hmm. Her hair's like pulled back. Um, I'd say she's like late 30s. I feel like she's drinking tea, but it has like scotch or brandy in it because it smells I'm funny. Surprised. <laughs> she like looks down her nose at you. She looks like the uh, a younger version of the stepmother from Cinderella. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I get it. And she makes me feel like she is a lady, but she also is a little underhanded. Like she'd beat your ass in a poker game. Mm -hmm. And you don't know that she's drinking scotch in her tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I can smell it and I can taste it. I just think it's funny that she's talking like mad shade, but has like alcohol in her drink. She's the boss. <laughs> There's cat balls on the ground that you can touch. You can walk past our music box or touch the REM pods. And we're also going to turn on this Alice box, which you can speak to us through. Here we go. Turning it on. Maybe we want to talk to Harry Houdini, right? Yeah. Do you have any magic tricks? <sighs> True. Oh. Mm. <gasps> oh. Moment. Okay, we'll give you a moment. She's going to have a moment. Hers. I'm going to give me a moment. Give me a moment. One second. Are you mm. ready? Yep. All right, ready? Okay. Ready? Oh, no. What are you doing? Oh. Did you just separate your thumb? Bro. Bro. David Blaine, what's up? <laughs> Wait. We got her nose. My nose, I'm like, nail! It would work if it wasn't so glamorous. <laughs> oh, thank you. Your, hair's, your hand smells good, though. Oh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> so far, oh, did it like it? <gasps> Hot. Hot. I'm sorry, I just can't get over the old guy. Every time they pan out, he's just like, the carpet. He looks like SpongeBob when he's like sweeping up the tomatoes after <laughs> Squidward's like act. Hot. Hot. Right? Thanks. <laughs> Those are some hot magic tricks. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> I feel like he would be such a joker. Yeah, right? As it is. Yeah. Um, the one thing, oh my God. Hot seat. 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 Oh, hot seat. But we're also, yeah, we're seated. We are Wait, on the hot seat. Wait, is there another chair in here? There are, Maybe we there give are them multiple spirit, chairs. A seat in front of us. <gasps> Wait, I love that. I'm getting yeah. a chair. I think behind that curtain, there's tables and chairs. Oh, yeah. oh what was that? Oh, it's you. <gasps> behind that curtain right there, Chris. We're up behind the curtain? Yep. There's tables. Oh, that's Maybe ominous. There's chairs. <laughs> spirit likes to seem not. I'm not asking to see a chair? <laughs> there's just tables. There's a chair there. Yeah, I know. Cat ball. Cat ball. Oh. OK, I'm going to get a chair. Is Harry Houdini the one that got out of a straitjacket? Yes. Like underwater or he was an escape artist. <laughs> okay. All right. You got a seat. We got the ghost's seat. All right. Has it not gone off since I got that? Nope. That's hilarious. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Crayon. Okay. Well, we don't what? have one of those. <laughs> Crayon. <gasps> Group. Okay. Yes, we have a group. There's a group of us. We're here to watch you. They're talking about the seance that they did. Mm-hmm. Because Harry Houdini's not there. I'm sorry. There's an older woman that just sat down and she's going to talk to you about the seance that you want questions or answers to. Yeah, because I don't think in the seance they talked to him either, so. Okay, yeah, he's not going to show up. He's no. not there. It's not <laughs> his thing. Um, but there's an old woman that just sat across from you. She's the one that's talking to you. She's different than the lady with the tea. Yeah, she's nicer. <laughs> yeah, she's very nicer. And that's why she's talking about crayon. She knows that um, Selena's a trans medium. Um, I don't know. Had to, has Selena ever tried doodling when she does stuff? I don't watch a lot of their stuff besides, like, funny things. Um, sometimes. I don't know. They do, like, a weird... I don't know. I've watched on Sam and Colby where they have, like, a planchette and they put, like, a pen inside of it and they all hold it and do Dee! and then Selena will be like oh, I say things okay but it's I don't think she just 
does that normally, but I don't know. Okay. I think they're also talking about when they did a seance, they, like, wrote things, but the woman is talking, she's kind of being funny. Like, what kind of writing utensil would they use nowadays? And since you guys are kind of childish, <laughs> she picked crayon. Oh. <laughs> I like her. She's older. She's, like, in her 60s or 70s. She's got, like, uh, late 50s, early 60s is what she wants me to say. You have a seat. Feel free to sit down. What do you want to do for us? Do you want to show us a trick? Do you want to do a knock again? See. See. Oh, see. God. See well, what? Do you want to see a trick that we're going to see him? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what the f I just got <laughs> full body chills. Dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, what was that? Literally. We've been down here for, like, a while, and we haven't heard no anything. No noise. Making noise. Well, we're glad you want to talk to us, and we know that people have tried to reach you in the past to do a seance and to speak to you, but you haven't come through. So is there any way you can confirm that you are Harry Houdini? And if you're not Harry Houdini, point us in the direction you are, because they've also said that Bridget Bishop. Right. What the f is going on? Capo went off. Um, yeah, if you could give us any sort of sign, if this is Harry Houdini, make a noise, make a capel, go off, talk through the Alice box. Look. Did it, oh. Okay. Oh my God, that's so weird. Capel. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Beg. Beg. <laughs> We'd love to see you, please. Come talk to us. <laughs> Maybe get on your knees. Oh, they cracked. The knees cracked. Okay, beg. <gasps> here. Here. The knocking. Like hearing. This kind of here. Yeah, the knocking. Please, heard that. please come and take a seat right here. I'm on my knees. We'd like to speak to you, Houdini. Please. I have a poster of you at home. Okay. I love that. Rape. Reap. 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 R E A P. R E A P. Oh, I don't want to go. Reaper. I don't want that. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Okay. Get a little dark. Went a little dark. What are you picking up on? Well, I still feel like they're talking about the seance. Okay. Um, I feel like the one that is like, big. I feel like that's a dude. Yeah, I felt like there was a dude in there too, but I'm like, it's really hard. Everything's super quiet. Well, I think it's because they don't necessarily want to talk to them because they want to talk to Houdini and they're like, well, we're not good enough. Really? <laughs> yeah. Um, but I agree. I don't think that they are used to this. Mm-mm. Like... The souls? Yeah. Yeah. They're not used to people, like, going down there and, like, doing this sort of thing. So they're, like, not sure what you want from them. <laughs> Because yeah. they're not who you are asking for. So they're like, he's not coming. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. what do you see? It's really hard to pick up on things. It's like Selena and Chris's energy is like up here. And that's where they're asking things is like up here. And these other people are very quiet, like down here. So that's why they're just getting like one word answers about stuff. But it's not very I mean, fast. That's how the Alice box works. You get one word answers. Yeah. Okay. No, I know, I'm but so sure. if, like we they've we've reacted to videos before where people have had the like voice boxes or whatever, and the the energy is always a lot higher, and this is like oh, yeah. almost nothing. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. Maybe this isn't Houdini at all. Maybe they don't like well, that. Well, there's like reap the rewards. Oh. Reap the rewards if we keep trying. Mm -hmm. He was a showman. We're showmans. We are. You know what I mean? We are. There's a lot of mirrors in this room. Mm -hmm. If you think those would help us manifest you, can you give us a sign, a word, touch any of our equipment, or make a knock? Oh my god. Miss. 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 Maybe he misses. I mean, he could be speaking about a woman, or it could be a woman. 
Oh. Oh. Infant. Infant. Miss an infant? Yeah. Maybe we're talking to a woman. Did oh she have kids? God. Do we know that? I don't know. I think well, she was the... really young. Yeah. Look it up. That's interesting. Yep. Christian, mm. Benjamin, Mary, and John. Interesting. Okay. Okay, Bridget. Oh. What do you think they're talking about with that? I think they're missing it and they're not being adults. <laughs> I don't know what they're talking about, like a miscarriage. Mm -mm. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't think they're talking about a miscarriage or babies at all. Are they talking about them? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're missing, like, talking to us and you're not listening, like kids. Oh, okay. Because I don't think they're talking to anybody different. Yeah. Okay. As long as you're on the same thing, because they're like, Oh, we're talking to Bridget? She had children? No. I don't think so at all. It would be cool though. Bridget. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. Nail. 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 Like nail though. Nail. No, nail. Oh, nail? Nail. As in like hammer and nail. You know, in the coffee, Maybe. man, that was a bad day. Yeah, how did, yeah. How did, how did she die? They would have hung them, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. That's what I would think. Well, yeah, they all Yeah. Hi. Huh. Pie. Apple pie? <gasps> well, the reason what, what started the insane like chaos around the witch trials was yeah. they actually ate wheat that had gone bad and it created hallucinogenic effects. So, oh. who knew if they ate it in a pie? I don't know. Oh, maybe. Plus apple. But also she, apple. Had, she opened it. Yeah, she had an orchard. Mm -hmm. <gasps> apple orchard. That's where this is built on. Apple pie. Interesting. People see a woman in white on the sixth floor. Yeah. Lake. 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 We're right by the water. We are right by the water, aren't we? Maybe something happened in the lake. Like a drowning or something. Um, Can you imagine if that thing said Houdini? Yeah. I know. I feel like... Stretched. Stretched. Well, when they put him in that... He was stretched, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Oh, was stretched, getting stretched out and yeah. put in the jacket and trying to get out. Mm. I think they mean, like, stretched as in, like, you guys are trying to stretch what they're saying. It's, you, there's, it's not, like, related to any people that you know about the history of the place. Mm hmm Is there a sad woman that has dark hair? Is she standing behind them? Behind the camera people? Yeah. Is she a woman? Yeah. I see her, but she's not talking to me. Does she have long, dark, straight hair? Mm -hmm. And she has her hands folded in front of her and her head's down a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. Is she associated to the lake? Oh. Okay, so you know when we went there and they told us that they actually moved a whole bunch of dirt to like make the make more land for Massachusetts? Oh, yeah. She's saying that's what she's related to is the time period when they moved a lot of dirt to extend the bay. Gotcha. And I think it messed with her life. Oh, it's with a baby. I don't know. She just gave me that information from when we were on the, mm -hmm. the tour. Oh, I feel like she lost a baby. She has long dark hair. She has something to do with water. Because mm. her feet are wet. But I don't know what. Dude, she's very quiet. I don't know if she got sick or something. Because my chest is heavy. I don't know if that's her child or her. She might have gotten malaria. If she lived by a lake. I feel like it's more pneumonia or something. Mm hmm So, I don't know. Yeah, she's quiet. Well, she just like comes in and out. I don't know, I feel like she got sick and may have died. And then her kid was like left. 
because I feel like she had a boy mm -hmm. who had dark brown hair for like a bowl cut. He was like five, four, three, something like that. Four or five. Because right when you, right before you said that she died and then not him and she got sick, that's what I got clear cognizantly. Yeah. Um, I feel like her son had to go to her sister or something. Mm -hmm. So she's sad about it. I don't know, because that's what the that's what I'm getting from what they're saying. Because it's just triggering intuitive information for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're actually saying that or if that's who they're talking to. But that's the c groups of words are triggering me to talk to the woman that's standing behind these people. Mm -hmm. And she's standing so. behind the camera people, so she's mm -hmm. not in frame, just mm -hmm. for everyone that's watching. Yeah, no, a lot of people think that we see them in the video, but it, we don't need to, mm -hmm. so, yeah. Cool. I don't know if we're talking to Bridget or, or Harry. Or any, like, or who, somebody else. Yeah. It's a hotel, 125 years open, so many yeah, things happen Yeah, if we could get a name, that would be really helpful. Aqua. 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 We've had lake, water. aqua, water again. I wonder what it has to do with water. This was just like a sassy woman named Aqua. Aqua. Did they stay here? Did they tour here? Multiple. Oh my god. Whoa, okay. whoa, whoa. I we just have... said there's. Oh okay. shit. Okay. Oh we my have god, that's so weird. People. <laughs> okay, so there's just gets us rolling. Yeah, there's multiple of you. So, do you want us to connect with you guys through Estes or possibly through the Infinity Deck? Or do you want to give us a name? Yeah. Imagine we have one name just yeah. to run off of. One name would be really, really helpful. We really want to connect with whoever's here. Whoa. Compete. They're competing. Compete. Yeah, competing for for. Who's coming forward? Where are the knocks coming from? Yeah, those who, are loud. Who's knocking? It's been on every single side. I think it's just the pipes. Yeah, they say it's the building making noise. Yeah, cause the old guy that's like, the carpets! He's the one that I asked him. He's like, it's just the pipes. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Can you knock again? You seem to be moving around the room quite a lot. I'm gonna count you down. Again. Water. Water. Something water. water. Maybe we're supposed to go there. So go closer to the water. It's like they're leading us to the water. Yeah, that's really interesting. Did you like the video? If so, let us know down below. And if you'd like us to do more reaction videos, let us know what we should react to in the comments. But again, if you guys want to see more reaction videos, there's a playlist somewhere that you can click upon and watch the rest of them. Yeah, if you guys like this type of content, make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell. We'll see you guys in the next one. Tune into our podcast that comes out on Sundays at 11, 11 Eastern time. They'll be about different topics. So open your ear holes to that. Until then, we are your meta socket. I was going to say something. I don't remember what it was now. Oh, talk to my plant. Says, what are you stressed out about? <laughs> what am I not stressed out about? Says you're sad. Why? Uh, well, I gave him water the other day, so I was hoping he was gonna be like, this bitch finally gave me a drink. But That's obviously, <laughs> he's gonna be obnoxious. <laughs>